Hey folks, Jesus is coming soon. How about all this strange weather? Tornado outbreaks. I've never seen anything like this. This weather is never ending. That don't have your attention. How about the tropics right now? How about there's a big massive storm that just came off the coast of Africa headed this way? It's a little early for that stuff, isn't it? Sure, it could boil down to climate change, right? I mean, that's what a few people have came here and said. Oh, they say it's not God doing this. It's not God warning anything. It's all man-made modifications. There's people giving man too much glory saying they can do things they cannot. I mean, is there such thing as cloud seeding? Sure. But can man manipulate a supercell to give a massive tornado? No, I doubt that. Again, people give man too much credit for things. Been hearing a lot of this thing called Project Blue Beam too. And a lot of these uh, post troopers out here, they'll tell Christians that that's what they're going to see when uh, Jesus comes for the church. I can't help but laugh about that because if anyone's ever even seen videos of Las Vegas, and this is what they use. See, they do this in Vegas. But if you'll look all throughout Vegas, there's these screens and platforms all up and down, all over the place. They don't have anything like that in the sky. So it kind of debunks the whole Project Blue Beam theory. I mean, I've seen a lot of videos in Vegas. There's been a lot of glitches in that system where they have sharks swim across the buildings and all this other stuff. And there's glitches all the time. Where is the glitches in the sky if Project Blue Beam is real? Again, that's people giving man too much credit. Just like they give the devil too much credit. He can't be everywhere at once. He's not God. Oh, but his minions can be scattered about. Well, through all this stuff, I want to tell y'all something that just amazes me. My wife had a text message this morning. <clears throat> I instantly knew it was a scam because the person said something like, uh, where were you yesterday? Why didn't you show up? <clears throat> well, we didn't have any plans yesterday. So she was like, I didn't have any plans. Who is this? And the person sent a picture of some AI-generated woman. And then she got to talking about the Lord to this person. Well, this person broke open to her and was saying that he's imprisoned and forced to do this scam job. And he don't want to do it. Openly admitted that he scammed a company out of $500,000 last week. And she's telling him about Jesus. And he's breaking. I don't know where he's from. He could be from India, Pakistan. I don't know but he's breaking. God is great, y'all. He's scared if he quits this job, these people are going to kill him. That's what he says. I told my wife to tell him, they can kill the body, but they can't kill the soul. And if you have Christ, though you're dead, you'll live. So if you're in Christ, there's nothing to fear at all. And to be openly honest, I was scared for a while you know, the landlord saying that he wants us out of here, <clears throat> even though we've paid rent on time every month for four years now. You know, this this place is literally all we've known for four years. And we have a lot of stuff, you know, and we don't know what to do. And it's been stressing me and my wife out so much. And then all of a sudden, I prayed about it. And that stress went away. And I'm only talking about this because I know there's been more than 10 people ask me about this. My, um, how's the moving thing going? Well, we haven't really found anywhere yet because the problem is houses three years ago that were, say, $750 a month are now $1,100, $1,200 a month. And I don't know what gets in these people's heads to make them think a single wide trailer is worth $1,100 a month, but... They obviously think that way. And the more I dig into stuff and look into this stuff, the more I see that you can buy a used single wide trailer for seven, eight thousand dollars. Well, if we winded up doing something like that and we found, say, some kind of park somewhere that offered lot rent and we had a trailer that was paid for, well, we'd only have to pay two hundred and fifty to three hundred dollars a month. That's a lot better than what we're paying now. So surely a lot better than eleven, twelve hundred dollars a month. One of our biggest issues with moving is 
See, every single time we've had to move from somewhere, it's just been me and my wife. Nobody's offered to help us move or anything. And every time we've moved, we've been wore out for two, three weeks after we move. And this time, y'all have had pneumonia. I've been fighting this stuff for three months now. <clears throat> and yeah, it's getting better. But I kind of messed my body up because I don't want to get too much into it. I don't want to bore people. But two months ago, I started taking steroids. And I remembered five years prior, <clears throat> the doctor had put me on steroids. And I gained so much weight. So this time I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm not going to eat. Well, I was taking steroid, steroids and I wasn't eating. And that problem with that is I shrunk my stomach. So <clears throat> three months ago, I was 235. Today, I weighed myself. I weigh 202. I lost all my muscle. I lost all my weight. There's no way, no way I can lift any of this heavy stuff we have. No way. So that being an extra expense, paying for moving men that we can't afford. It's just, y'all, it's, it's a migraine headache. It really is. I mean, sure, maybe I can get a refrigerator or this or that, but my mama gave me a safe four years ago. It was my daddy's. It's a Winchester safe. It weighs 600 pounds. There's no way. There's no way. Anyways, there's the update on the whole moving situation. I will let everybody know when we actually do find something that we'll be able to, you know, possibly afford and, and get. But again, on that side of actually buying a trailer and finding a lot to rent we would have so much extra money put aside that we wouldn't really need any help if, at that point anyways keep looking up church i'm telling y'all jesus is coming so very soon stop fighting amongst each other love one another romans 10 9 through 13 i love all of you i truly do god bless